What's going on, everyone? We are back with a tutorial for industrial craft nuclear reactors. And just to get this video put out, it was so hard to find different plans. I actually had to make some myself using a reactor planner. So I figured I would put this video out as a direct, this is how you lay them out, this is the power for it. So let's go ahead and look at this first reactor. One of the most simplest ones you can do that is completely filled up is just one fuel rod paired with one heat vent over and over filling up the reactor. And this will give you 135 EU a tick, completely stable, completely automatable. I don't even know if that's a word, but you can input fuel rods continuously pull out the empty ones continuously and it is very safe. The second one gives you a little bit more power. This is one of the ones I've made myself, ran simulations. It is 100% stable using dual rod uranium cells. If we turn this on, you can see we get 240 EU a tick. And this is using the advanced heat vents and component heat vents don't really need the component heat vents. It is stable without it, but it does help disperse the heat uh, off these advanced heat vents. And like I said, 100% stable, nice little step up. And then to really ramp things up using 60K coolant cells and overclocked heat vents, if we flip this one on, we get 360 EU a tick and this is stable also. The only problem is you will have to replace these coolant cells. As you can see, it is ticking away quite quickly. But for the amount of power you get, this is a pretty decent reactor, but you do have to do continuous maintenance on it. Not, uh, not very good with automation. But if you want to sacrifice a little bit of power, you do have this setup. Uh, five quad cell uraniums, uh, some advanced heat vents, component heat exchangers, uh, component heat vents, and one reactor plating, I guess, just to fill that up. And let's go ahead and flip this on. And it gives you a solid 300 EU a tick. And this one is... Uh, you, even though you see these kind of fluctuating, they do go back down. You see it's hovering 240, 480. This one, the simulation's passed. It is stable. But there you go. Four easy IC2 reactors with exactly how to lay them out. Thank you for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment. I will see you guys later.